News Talk 1090 AM WILD Boston Radio 1 celebrating 30 years of service to the African American community. Border to border, giving the truth fighters a voice in the call for justice. 877-373-9766. 877-373-9766. Join the truth fighters in full effect right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Right now. Truth Fighters, 877-373-9766, number to dial. You know, um, we're trying to raise money for these kids. If you can donate some more, please donate some more. InvestTF.com, uh, hit school fund. InvestTF.com, hit school fund, as we try to raise money for these children. Uh, we're trying to get to $13,000 raised by the end of this month, so please uh, help us out. Uh, and part of the reason I'm doing this is because I want to do this all around the country. I want to take this to Milwaukee, to Chicago, to South Carolina. I'm going to ask you guys to recommend schools because what I want to do is give something back to these young people and invest in them and put love in their hearts. When you see all the death that's going on around us every single day, we have to do something. And I'm sorry, but I am going to talk about the church. And I'm not talking about the church in the sense of, I'm trying to browbeat or put down any religion. But, see, I'm one of these people like this. Let's look at some stuff from a common sense point of view, from a realistic point of view. If your church is in a community and that church is not doing anything in that community, I have to ask you, why are you sitting in that church? If they're not reaching out to that community to try to get drugs out of that community, if they're not reaching out to those young people in that community, if they're not doing things to help the community why are you sitting in that church now if your church is doing all those things if your pastors are, are doing things and taking the church not just within the four walls of the church but outside the doors of the church and into the community then you know what i'm not talking about your pastor i'm not talking about your church so don't take it personal but i am somebody who understands that you know what it's so many of us that so we we are and I hate to say it like this, but it's the truth. We are brainwashed by religion to a certain point. It's a difference between the church and God. Just because you in a church don't mean that the church is right. I just got to tell you that. Because, see, when you see everything that's going on in our communities, our communities should never have gotten to this point. It should never have gotten to the point where our young people are dying in droves. It should never have gotten to the point where our community value is gone. It should never have gotten to the point where our educational system in our communities are at the point where our kids are dropping out at 50%. Yet every Sunday, we're running into somebody's church. Where were they at when all this violence was going on? That's why I am the way I am about the churches. People watched this happen and did nothing, nothing. And everybody who want to hit me or call me about church, I'm going to tell you what, this is the way I feel about it. If they so much a man of God, if they so much love Jesus, if they so much know the Lord, then why the hell are you afraid to go out in the street and take your community back from these young punks? You scared to die. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. You love God. You a child of God. Why the hell are you afraid to die? If you know in your heart that you are right, if you know in your heart that you love God and you doing his, his, his way, death should never be something that you are afraid of. Why you think I act and talk the way I talk on this radio? I'm scared of nothing. They can come at me on every level. In the end, I'll be the one still victorious and standing. See, this is why I take the position that I take with the church. They ain't got nothing to do with your pastors and how they living, it has to do with the fact that all these folks every single Sunday run up into these churches and see all this going on around them and be the first to yell, oh, I, I love the Lord. I'm a Christian. What are you talking about? I'm a saint. You a saint? Then you shouldn't be afraid to die. Let's go get our streets back. Let's go get our corners back. Let's go get our kids back. Let's go get our communities back. No, nah, that's too much. That's too much like right, man. That's too much like right. See, y'all don't even, y'all really don't understand. That's why I get mad sometimes when people be writing stuff about me because you don't really know who the hell I really am and what I'm really about. 
Because, see, I, look, I ain't got a problem calling nobody out. Nobody. Because if you right, you right. If you wrong, you wrong. And what's wrong is that we as a group of people in this country have sat here and watched all this happen. And nobody says anything. Nobody. We would rather walk around with blinders on than reach out to these young people. These young people are amazing. I went and played some golf yesterday. I got to play with this young man who's 13 years old. I thought he was 11, but he's 13. When I left that young man, I felt so inspired. You know why? Because I, I'm, I'm looking at him like, man, these kids, this next generation of leaders are going to be awesome. But it's just spending the time with them. It's investing in them. We find every reason in the world not to do something. Most of you, you know, I'm going to say this. 99% of you are working jobs you don't even want to work, but you're afraid to fail. You settle. Many of you in relationships like that. Well, it's safe. I'm scared. It's safe. How can you say you love God and you're afraid of everything? You're afraid of yourself. See, I'm, I'm done with this white black stuff. Now it's on us. It really is. Y'all listen to these people on the radio and television. How many of them are coming back trying to do something for you, really? How many of them are really trying to, or, you know, hey, hey, look, I'm getting hit up by people, right? Because I'm trying to get you guys to invest with each other for franchises. I got some of my friends, people that I respect and admire, hit me up. Like, why would you be talking about that on the radio? Don't you know somebody going to try to kill you? Somebody going to try to hurt you? They gonna, the government going to come after you. What? And I'm like, I can't even be friends with you anymore. Because it's to the point where you still like you on a plantation. Master going to get me if, if we do. Look, you cannot live in fear. <laughs> See, we got to look at stuff for what it really is. Y'all have been so brainwashed to believe that these folks really care about you and really and I'm talking about us I'm not talking about anybody else we believe the church and all that look if these folks really really care they would be trying to organize you to get your communities back to get you out of debt to get your kids in the good educational systems to get you working no nah, they're not trying to do that they try to make money off of you Churches should be paying taxes because they, because like my man said yesterday, it's a business. It is a business. They should pay taxes. 877-373-9766. I'm going to open up the phone lines. Bring it on. I'm ready for you today. I'm feeling 99% today. I'm a 99 of the day. Information is power. Welcome back to the Warren Valentine Show, heard coast to coast and border to border, giving the truth fighters a voice in the call for justice. 877-373-9766. 877-373-9766. Join the truth fighters in full effect right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. All right, two fighters, 877-373-9766. I want to thank uh, people who are donating uh, as we try to raise money for these children. Go to investtf.com, uh, investtf.com, and hit school fund. Delcy Newman, God bless you, $100. Robert Lynch, $100. Thank you, Bonnie Miles. Uh, Gideon Hunt, $100. Thank you, Donald Williams, $100. Thank you, uh, Harvey Mallard, uh, Mitchell Anthony, Melissa Jenkins, Denise uh, Perrington, Geraldine uh, Brakefield, Harry Payton, uh, Rodney Johnson, Eugene Melvin, Custom Creations, uh, Milton Dent, uh, Shirley Giles, $100. Thank you, Yolanda Boykins, $100. Thank you, uh, Emmanuel uh, Davilas, uh, Ernest Jones, and Ruby Smith, $200. God bless you. Thank you, everybody who's donating as we try to raise this money for these children. Now, let me clarify something for some people out here, and then I'm going to open up the phone lines. I'm not telling you not to tithe in your church. People are hearing what they want to hear. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is this. If you tithe in, that's, a, that's what you're supposed to do. That's a beautiful thing. You should do that. 
but you also should tithe to these generations that's coming up after you, whether your tithe is in time or in, in money. That's what I'm saying. The same way, you know, th look, when you get paid, the first thing you should do before you pay any bill, before you pay anything, you should pay yourself. You should put some money up for yourself, right? That's exactly what I'm telling you to do with your community and with the next generation. The same way you run the church every Sunday and you tithe, take some time and give to your community. Now, if you don't have money, your time is just as valuable as money. And the point that I'm trying to make is how we look at stuff every single day and don't even realize how, wait a minute, this could be totally different if people just really stepped up. Now, when I went to break, I said I'm a 99. Think about all these people who are out of work and can't get any benefits, right? They don't even qualify for unemployment after the 99-week period. So they're just there in the world with nothing. America tells them, well, there's nothing we can do for you. But two things. One, we're supposedly broke in this country. All of a sudden, they got $20 billion to be able to help Japan if they need it. Where did that money come from? Why can't, why can't you invest that in the people? Secondly, the TARP. Do you know 99% of the money that was borrowed by the banks have been repaid to the American government or to the American people? 99%? Why not take that TARP money and reissue it to the American people? It was our money to begin with. Why not let the 99ers draw for that? Why not create job opportunities off of that? See, I'm trying to get you guys to realize something. I'm trying to get you to realize at what you're really seeing. What you're seeing is this. Y'all just keep moving the way you move and keep giving us your money and keep paying your taxes and keep uh, coming to church and keep doing all the things that you're doing while we get rich. Because honestly, if they really cared, wouldn't things be different? Wouldn't, wouldn't your community be different? Wouldn't this money be available to these people? I'm just saying. And again, for everybody out there whose who's church is doing the right thing, whose pastor is doing the right thing, then you, look, I'm not talking to you and I'm not talking about your pastor. I'm talking about the ones who are not doing what they're supposed to do. And we know that it's, it's, it's congregations like that. But I'm trying to get you guys to see how important it is to look. Just look and think about what's really going on today. How could our communities look like this and we say nothing? How do we believe we have no money to help the poor in this country, but we can give Billions of dollars to the banks, they pay the money back, and now you're going to tell me we don't have money to help the poor, the unemployed? I'm trying to get you to realize what's really going on. And you can call it whatever you want to call it. Played, bamboozled, pimped, taken advantage of, whatever you want to call it, you can put any fancy name you want to put on it. But the reality of it is... It is what it is until we stand up and do something about it. It starts with these children. That's how we have to we have to instill it in them to break this curse. Break the chains. Talking to you, Truth Fighters, right here, right now. Warren Ballantyne Show. Stay tuned for the Warren Valley Time Show. Call 1-877-373-9766. Call the number one truth fighter and stay with News Talk 1090 AM WILD Boston. The Eleven Shop at the National Action Network proudly presents the annual National Action Network Conference starting Wednesday, April 6th to Saturday, April 9th. In New York City. Last year, 2010 was the first annual Measuring the Movement, and the NAN chapters across the country will follow up one year later on on the proactive measures for better employment, business creations, and better improvement in education. For more information, call 1 877 626 4651. 1 877 626 4651. 1090. W I L D A S. W I L D A information is Power. Hey, Boston. Check out this week's New York Amsterdam News. Log on to AmsterdamNews.com and check out for Eleanor Tatum, courtesy of Keeping It Real with the Reverend Al Sharpton, to touch on stories from an African-American perspective. From home news, sports, business, arts, entertainment, opinions, subscriptions, and more. Visit AmsterdamNews.com for your weekly mailing subscription. $20 for six months, $35 for one year. 
Listen out for Eleanor Tatum's views, thoughts, and opinions only on Keeping It Real with the Reverend Al Sharpton weekday afternoons, 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern, only on News Talk 1090 AM, WILD Boston, where information is power. The Black News Roundtable with Eleanor Tatum and the Reverend Al Sharpton every Thursday on Keeping It Real. Previously on the Donnie McClurkin Show. Call it, you're on the air. My name is Beverly Ray. I'm from the greater New Orleans area. What can you do to help our young men and young girls? And if you and other generals in the Army of the Lord would pray mightily for our young people and youth, I just believe, God, that they would get delivered from drugs, from alcoholism, from all manner of filth and even slowfulness. God said men ought to work by the sweat of their brows. Well, God bless you, Sister Beverly. All of this and more on the next edition of the Don McClurkin Show. So walk in the favor of God. God bless you. Yeah. Oh, you ready to the Donnie McClurkin Show, Donnie. Show, Sunday mornings at 9 Eastern, only on Boston's Best Gospel, 1090 AM, WILD, Boston, where music and information is power.